All right, so here we have one of the hype train motors uh, from Rotor Riot. Uh, this one's the Grinder 2306, uh, 2450 kV. Uh, these were released a few months ago. These were designed to withstand uh, a lot of abuse. So these have been made to be sturdy and also affordable. So these are one of the more affordable hype train motors on Rotor Riot line. So these were sent in by Tommy Tabaja, oh my god, from Rotor Riot. Uh, so thanks to Tommy for sending these motors. Uh, he also sent me a few other motors from the Rotor Riot Hype Train series. These are the RR2306 and some 2207, I believe. Uh, 2207, uh, 2450 kV, 2150 kV on the 2306. So I'll review these on another video following this one. They come in this basically non-descriptive box, so that's good, Not, uh, nothing fancy. And uh, uh, the motors come packaged on just a plastic bag, some M3 by six or eight screws, kind of short. You probably need to source your own if you have uh, thick arms. Uh, so here it is out of the box. So these have been designed by Bot Grinder, and they've been designed to take some serious abuse. Uh, so if you haven't seen him abuse his motors, I'll put a link to his channel right there, or you could just search on YouTube for Bot Grinder FPV. Uh, so yeah, you'll see he really puts uh, his stuff through some heavy abuse. So they give you a full size nylock and. Pretty long shaft, so that's good too. You got plenty of thread with any prop that you may want to use. Uh, yeah, it looks like a fully hollow shaft. I think that might be hitting the screw, let's see. Uh, yeah, I think that's hitting the screw. So shaft should be hollow all the way through. And pretty much all of the latest tech on the motors, as you can see, naked bottom and looks like arc magnets uh, although i did not see um, a lot of the specs on the motor itself they don't have uh, specs for what kind of magnets uh, so i imagine those are either n52 or n48 the base is 16 by 16 all the way around i think uh, yeah 16 by 16 and uh, there's a shaft retaining screw with a nice size uh, that's a 2mm hex driver that you need to remove that uh, screw. It's got a nice a deep socket. That's a good screw to use. Uh, easy to remove for sure. And looks like 20 gauge wires and those are plenty long for center mounted ESCs. Those are about 120 millimeters in length. So let's get a weight on the motor. Let's see what it weighs. And that's with 120 millimeters of wire. So 32.4, that's a pretty, a pretty good weight for a 2306. So if you cut the wires to 50, that's about, about 30.2 or so, 30.4 grams. So a pretty good weight. So we'll take that apart and do some measurements on the bearing and the stator and just have a look inside. So, you know, the usual teardown of the motor. So, let's see how easy it is to remove. Uh, pretty easy with that nice and big uh, head on that screw. Uh, they did use a lot of... Uh, 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 plenty of Loctite. Uh, there's quite a lot of resistance, so... But using a 2mm hex driver makes it quite easy to remove and quite long of a screw so that thing's not coming off unless you yeah you actually unscrew it uh, let's see how easy it is to remove this bell sometimes it fits too tight on the bearing and it, it's really hard to remove so we'll see this one uh, this was pretty easy so that came off quite easily and yeah there you can see the uh, fully hollow shaft uh, so that's just a hardened steel shaft uh, most likely there's the magnets let's see there's a yeah uh, I can feel a lip right there 
a slight lip on the ring that'll help keep the bayonets in place and there's the stator alright so let's have a closer look I'll get the magnifying glass so here's the bell and as you can see it's got these little channels here so I guess that's to help uh, grabbing the uh, propeller keep it in place and uh, there's the one piece shaft fully hollow and arc magnets and there is a lip on the bell ring so that's good help retain those magnets in place and here's the stator and as you can see they're using pretty good bearings that's the NMB 4x9x4 the L94ZC bearing I think that's the uh, the number in can't read uh, it's too small but it's right there uh, so 4 by 9 by 4 bearing that's one of the stronger bearings so as advertised on the Rotor Riot page the motor has been designed to take some abuse so that's good to see they're using that size bearing so pretty much all the latest features on this motor I believe that's 0.15 millimeter lamination so on that stator uh, so overall looks like pretty well built motor they're using all the good components and good design features to make this motor strong so let's put this back together and have a quick look at the um, at the air gap and uh, yeah pretty good uh, air gap right there as you can see it's not overly tight or loose so that should make for a smooth motor in transitions uh, the closer you have the air gap the more power you're gonna get but it might be way too responsive sometimes uh, people that like uh, freestyle usually prefer smoothness so I'm sure uh, that air gap is aimed toward uh, getting the motor to respond smoothly in transitions when you're on and off the throttle all right so let's uh, let's put this on the thrust stand and get some numbers Alright, so let's have a quick look at the thrust test results for this rotor rider motor, the Hype Train Grinder 2306-2450kV. This one, as you saw on the kV test, it measured at 2560kV, so noticeably higher. Not by much, but it's an extra 100kV. But it's in the right direction, I think, for freestyle, which is what this motor is intended for. 2560kV is a very good uh, kV. A lot of people would actually prefer slightly higher than 2450. So that's actually uh, good that it came out 100kV higher. So from the thrust test results, we can see that the motor is actually performing quite well. And its output puts it right in the middle of the top motors that I've tested. I just kind of went ahead and quickly 
compared it to the results from the RC Empower GTS V2 2550KV, another 2306 motor. So they're basically the same size and very similar KV. And the numbers for this motor are very close to that one. It just falls a little bit short on the thrust results compared to the RC Empower, but not by much. Uh, it's practically almost the same so this motor's got a lot going for it as you saw on the breakdown it's built pretty good and power is there so definitely a good option for freestyle which is the main purpose of this motor to be used as a freestyle and be able to survive of abuse as it's been designed to do and as bot grinder had his input as to what he wanted in a motor for freestyle and for surviving abuse so it seems to have all of that going for it so pretty much i think it's going to be used on five inch props so i went ahead and tested on 4s five inch props which is the most common setup and also threw in a 5s test for a 50 45 by 3. So all in all, this motor is performing pretty good. The amp numbers versus the uh, thrust correspond to what it's supposed to be. And uh, basically just under 1500 grams, which is pretty respectable at 43.5 amps. When you apply the unloading effect, that's just under 30 amps uh, max burst in the air. So around 27 and that's burst. So that's only gonna be for a couple of seconds and then it'll taper down. And even on 5S, 52 amps, it's almost equivalent to about 30 amps in the air and again that's max burst so the ESC and the motor are only going to see that for a, a few seconds and then it tapers down as the battery uh, gets a little bit hot and it's not able to maintain uh, all that juice flowing. So 30 amps for 5S on a 5045, uh, no problem for this motor. So it should be able to sustain operation on 5S. On six inch, I also went ahead and tested, although I don't know if anybody uses these size motors uh, on six inch, but here's the uh, results. Uh, so, you know, a good test to run six inch that tells us uh, how powerful the motor is and just to see how much uh, we can get out of this motor on six inch props. Uh, also including the 3S, uh, some people like to use these motors for uh, fixed wing aircraft on 3S, so there's the numbers. So overall, pretty good performance out of this motor as indicated by the thrust test results. So it should be a good option for freestyle, especially with the way the motor has been built uh, with the beefy bearing. And there's also replacement bells uh, in case you, you know, you fly really hard and you end up damaging the bell. There's replacement belts available for the uh, newest version of the motor. Uh, I understand they don't fit the earlier ver versions because they switch factories. Uh, so this is for the, I believe it's the second ba batch. So uh, the, you gotta keep that in mind when you order the replacement bell. So make sure it's for the latest uh, version. Uh, so once again, thanks to Omagad from uh, Riot for supplying this motor for testing. And I'll also be testing a couple of other motors from uh, the Hype Train series. Uh, so keep an eye out for those. All right, so that's the test results for this motor. Thank you for watching and until the next video.